Hey what's up guys, this is Mac and Computer Help and today I'm going to be talking about the 2038 problem. Now this is referring to 2038 and it's similar to Y2K. Now I'm not here to scare anybody or say anything like the world is going to end. I'm just going to warn you about a possible problem that could happen with many computers. Let's first talk about Y2K for a little bit. Um, Y2K is, of course, year 2000. Um, a lot of people thought that the world was going to somehow end, or like everybody just starved to death because all the computers would mess up and just everything would like, collapse. But really, the problem was there was a legitimate problem. Back when the programmers were first making all these programs, they made dates as far as years, but it's just two digits, and they didn't make it. Four digits. So if it was 1990, they would just put in 90. And so the thing was, when the computer switched over, it would go from 99 to 00, zero again. They, it would like reset it back to like 1999, or not 1999, um, 1900. So they didn't know how um, these computers would deal with it and if they would like shut down or crash or whatever but really it's not something to worry about they or the media pretty much got a hold of it and just blew it way out of proportion because they made it seem like it was such a big deal but really computers they run on the if they need the time it's gonna be 240 whether it's um, 1975 or 1990, it really doesn't matter to the computer as long as it's 245. But once the media got a hold of it, they blew it way out of proportion, and there was somewhat of a problem, but there was a lot of code that was changed when uh, the programmers and things went in and changed the code. But uh, what a lot of people would say is that well, these chips underneath the ocean they can't be changed then it'll mess up all the communication and just all everything will be messed up so there's actually people like stockpiling food um, lots of stuff like that my parents um, know some people they had like a big meeting they're saying warning everybody like this is going to be such a big problem uh, but it really wasn't um, if you're old uh, a lot of you probably already know about this. I'm just going over this for some younger people. Um, but anyways, that's pretty much why you get. As it turned out, it was fine. Not really any problems. There was probably a lot of little computers that were switched over. They weren't messed with and handled it fine. Anyways, now the year 2038 problem. That's similar. What it is, is Unix based pro or Unix based computers and um, or if programs are written in the C based language, time started to these um, uh, Unix and C based programming languages, um, time started the very first second of 1970. So January 1st, very first second of that day, 1970, time started. And it started counting up with um, seconds. So each second is like one tick off this huge number. And this huge number comes into play is there is a limit because on any 32-bit system, so this will affect all 32-bit systems, because a 32-bit system is um, 4 bytes and there's 8 bits in a byte so that's 32. Now, if you know anything about programming or uh, basic fundamentals of computers, you'll know that variables and different things, there's a limit to how much data they can hold. Um, Actually, I'm going to be, I'm starting up some programming tutorials, so you can check those out. One of my first ones um, will be coming soon, and I'll kind of explain some of that. But anyways, uh, there's a limit to for these two-bit systems as far as the largest number. And what it is, 
is right here. Uh, two billion one hundred forty-seven million four hundred eighty-three thousand six hundred forty-seven bits or data, uh, not bits. Excuse me, a little my new pieces of memory, anyways, like the ticks. Um, so if you put that out, that is thirty. 5,791,394 minutes or 596,523 hours or 24,855 days or 68 years if you kind of round it off. So that puts it at 2038. So the thing is what might happen is it may it may just roll over because these are it has uh, that 200 billion such and such it's also it's positive and negative so it's t that number times two so the alternative is it may roll over from uh, positive to negative and start counting up or it may just crash because it won't be able to it'll try to hold more data than that type is uh, able to hold. So those are the two options. But the thing is, if your system is running on 64-bit, which a lot of Vista and Windows 7 run on, and Snow Leopard is now 64-bit also. So if your computer runs on that, it's fun because 64-bit for um, is 8 bytes because it's um, 8 bits in a byte, 8 bytes, 64 bit. So a 64 bit has this much, if I say this right, 9 quintillion, 223 quadrillion, 372 trillion, 36 billion 854 million 775 thousand eight hundred seven ticks that it can handle so if you calculate that out this is what it comes out to for eight years 292,471,208,678 uh, years. So you really don't have to worry about that. Now that's years to add on from 1970, I think you were. Um, but either way, you really don't got about that that's such an extraordinary number and by 2038 most every system will probably be 64 bit um, most systems any new systems now are 64 bit so unless you run like some um, <coughs> legacy system or like an older system um, and the older systems are the hardest to switch over so this still might affect some uh, but really it's not a big deal because it's not like I don't think too many people are going to be running uh, XP in Windows 98 and 2038. But anyways, uh, that's pretty much uh, the big scoop on that. I just uh, I was listening to a tech podcast and they were talking about this and I thought it was interesting so I figured I'd make a video on it just kind of discuss it for a little bit. Uh, haven't done one of these discussions in videos ever, so um, if you did enjoy this video, type and if you'd like me to do more of these, comment below, um, rate, and definitely subscribe and check out some of my other uh, videos. Um, I'm going to start uploading uh, programming tutorials, so definitely check those out. Those will be great quality, free programming tutorials I'll be uploading Objective-C, learn to program for the Mac and the 
I felt. So, hope you enjoyed this, learned some interesting facts, and thanks for watching. Goodbye for